Hello everyone, it's Newman and today we are seeing if Lost Origin Booster Box is worth it. So what do I mean by that? So what we're going to do is find out the value of all the cards that we have made. So we're not going to go through this big section here. This section is pretty much worth under one dollar. Every single one of them. Some of them are worth like, when I say some of them, like 290 of them are worth below one p or one cent and some of the hollow or other cards might just be under a dollar like i don't know 75 cents or p okay so i'm gonna go through them we're gonna go through the 12 cards that were worth over a dollar so this is raw so we're also going to find out the figures if you were to psa them so PSA is when you get them car graded, you get them like from 10 going all the way down, I'm guessing to like zero or one. I don't think I've ever seen a PSA one, but I'm sure it's possible. Um, and this basically can change the value of some of these cards. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. And we're going to give you an end value of how much all these cards cost us. So I think the whole deck cost us, although the whole booster box cost us £110. So this is in US dollars that we're going to give you the the figures because we're using a site called Pokedata. Pokedata, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom if you guys want to check it out, see how much your cards are worth. But it's a really good site. So it uses like last eBay sale to see how much your card was worth. So it's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the first raw card. Who is Garatina V Star? So Garatina V Star, who is a Garatina V Star one three one on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it is worth a total of eleven dollars and fifteen cents. Next, we have this Crobat. Crobat is worth a total of nine dollars and ninety five cents. Then we have the Charizard. So this Charizard is actually really good. So it's the TG03. And raw, he is worth $9.60. But if you were to get in PCA, so he could be worth anywhere from, say, top grade, who's number 10. He's worth, at last sold, was worth $278. US uh, PSA 9, 114 and then it can go anywhere down to back, back basically to being raw. It's back to um, $9.60. So it's a good card. And then we have the Collapse Stadium, who is worth $8.47. And then we have this Trainer card, Fompton, who is worth $5.00. Then we have this Rotten, who is worth three dollars thirty-two. This Parasect, who is worth two dollars thirty-seven. As you can see, the cards are starting to drop down really quickly now. We've got through the best ones. Now we've got the Zoe Rock, who is worth two dollars and eight cents. Then we've got this car, the Bennett, who I really like the art style for, is worth one dollar and eighty-two cents. Then we have the Gudra, who is worth a total of one dollar and twenty cents. This um, Radiant Gardevoir, who is worth one dollar and eight cents. And then we have the Drapion V Star, who is worth a one dollar and two cents. And after that, the rest of these cards are below that value. But we've got a total value, so all the cards I have done the maths for every single one of them it took me a long time. It is worth a total of sixty nine dollars and seventy seven cents. So 
we bought the whole booster box for 210 but we got $69 basically out of it unless you were to PSA the Charizard. If you were to PSA Charizard, you have made your money back just with this one card. So, as you all probably know with me, I give all the cards away. So if you like, sub, I give cards. You enter a little competition to win all these cards. I don't keep cards. I will PSA this for you guys. So when I do get back PSA marked, it might be a Mark 7, Mark 8, Mark 9, don't know. When I do get it back, you will have it PSA, so it saves you time doing it yourself, or you can just break it and then have it raw again if you really wanted to. But it's worth more PSA. Okay, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, sub, and I love you all. Bye.